Epictetus was one of the big three Stoic philosophers, with the other two being Seneca and Marcus Aurelius. Epictetus was a slave, but his master, who was secretary to the brutal emperor Nero, allowed Epictetus to study Stoic philosophy under the tutelage of Musonius Rufus. The teachings of Epictetus are recorded in his Discourses and the Enchiridion, also known as the Handbook, and they cover how to live a good, Stoic life. What we will be covering today, in regards to Enchiridion, are a few inspiring lessons from the book. It's your judgments that disturb you. Events that happen don't disturb you, but your thoughts and emotions to them. Avoid labeling things as good or bad and letting them affect you throughout your day. When you blame others for your negative feelings, you're being ignorant. When you blame yourself for your negative feelings, you're making progress. You're being wise when you stop blaming yourself or others. What will be, will be. Don't wish for things to happen as you would like them to. Rather, welcome whatever happens. This is the path to peace, freedom, and happiness. It's easy to want certain things. If you have a big deal in the works, it's easy to wish it would work out. But if you just hope things happen the way they're meant to, you're going to be at peace. Let go of trying to control things. No one makes it out of this world alive. Optimize what you can control, which is how you feel about things and the work that you put in, and just release your need for a certain outcome. Be prepared to be laughed at. If you decide to live by lofty principles, be prepared to be laughed at by others. You may hear snide remarks, oh, here comes the philosopher, or why are you so pretentious? Just ignore those comments, but make sure that you actually don't become pretentious. If you stick to your principles, people who make fun of you will eventually come around and they may even admire you. However, if you let others influence you to give up what you started, you'll be ridiculed twice. Firstly, for following these principles, and secondly, for giving them up. You will be laughed at for trying to better yourself, but just keep at it and people will realize this is the authentic you and that you're actually making progress. Then they will wish they came along. But also keep in mind that if you follow these principles publicly, you can't go back. Your boats have been burned. You can't become a person who begins down the path of philosophy and then turns back to join the crowd. Everything has a price. If someone's advice is preferred to yours, or if someone is more popular than you, how should you respond? If this person deserves it, be happy for them. If they don't deserve it, don't be upset. There's a price to pay for everything in life. If you aren't willing to pay the price that someone else is to get something, then you don't get it. It doesn't make you any worse or any better than them. If you don't flatter, you don't get the same advantages a flatterer will have. So take a look at what you want, and take a look at the price you're willing to pay to get it. Let others not control your mind. If your body was turned over to someone else, and they were controlling it without your permission, you wouldn't be very happy about it. But when we let the actions of others affect us, we're letting them take over our mind. Make an effort to not let the actions of others affect you. If logistically, it messes things up, accept that you need to adjust your approach to things, but don't dwell on what you would say to someone and how angry you are. Be true to yourself. Decide what type of person you want to be and stick to it, whether you're by yourself or with others. Here are some suggestions. Don't indulge in gossip. If you want to influence your friends, do it by your actions. Be moderate in meeting the needs of your body. Don't overindulge in food or drink. Avoid fraternizing with those who don't share your values. Don't defend yourself if someone speaks ill of you. Avoid talking about yourself a lot in conversation. Although what you do is very cool to you, it may not be so cool to others. Don't brag about your principles. Don't brag about your principles in life, and try not to even mention them to others. Instead, act according to those principles. If the conversation turns to philosophy, don't be so quick to jump in and let people know what your thoughts are on the matter. It's best to not join in and let your actions speak for themselves down the line. Sheep don't bring grass to their owners to show them how much they've eaten. Instead, they just digest it and produce milk and wool. Similarly, don't make a show of the principles you live by. Just operate through them and you will show others how you live by your actions throughout your life and the person that you become. These are just a few of the great lessons from the Enchiridion by Epictetus. If you enjoyed this book summary, 
I'm happy to announce that I partnered with Chuck Chakrapani, who did this modern translation of the Enchiridion, and we created the audio for it. So if you want to get the book, you can get the Kindle version for free on Amazon, or you can buy the hard copy or the audio versions. The link is in the bio. Now if you like these videos that we put out here at Between the Lines Animations, click that subscribe button to support the channel. We have many more summaries of Stoic philosophy in the works, as well as a lot of self-development content, coming out very soon.